season just underway, Steve, for young teams go. looking to level up. How much can statement wins over top teams boost their confidence now? A lot, Kevin. Big wins breed confidence. And confidence in this league is critical. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. We've got Derek Fisher. O'Neal is out there with Grant. Then there's Kobe. And it's Fox in at the three spot. And it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum, a wing who can score in so many different ways. Now here's Kobe coming off a stellar performance against Boston. That one rolling around and rims out. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. And that was a shocker. Hard to believe that they dropped the ball, so to speak, on that one. And probably a tough pill for them to swallow. You try not to dwell on losses like that, but hey, you can't help it. Hopefully, they'll learn something from that defeat. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Kobe against White. Here's Bryant. Bryant can't get that one to fall. The Celtics have gone two or three here to start off the game. Brown dishes to Holiday. Tatum on the wing. There's the three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. I mean, a tremendous all around talent. Drew Holiday keeping his eyes up and his options open. Here's Bryant, and Kobe throws it down. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Frustrating beginning for them, but we have a long way to go. Now they just need to string together some buckets. Brzingis can't hit. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. White against Kobe. The kick out to Brown. From downtown, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Their last game, a win against Boston, looking to carry it into this one. And a lot of that was game plan, putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offensive end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game planned a great strategy to take advantage of it. You know, Greg, many in Boston question the wisdom of the smart Porzingis trade. Uh, what do you think of the move? I mean, I think given age and injuries in their front court, it, the trade makes sense, right? Also, they got some draft capital, but the ultimate test of this trade will be in the playoffs. The ring is the thing, and the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Kobe kicks to Fox. Looks for O'Neal, gets it to him. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Shaq gets the ball there. It doesn't matter who's guarding. Brown outside. And again, Boston with the triple. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Here's Fisher. Nine points, last game out. Grant finds O'Neal. Over Porzingis. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot block. Tatum no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Feeds to O'Neal. The kick out to Fox. Good on the three-point shot. And plenty of confidence. Right side Tatum. And stolen by Ori. Fisher looking it over. Bryant outside. Bryant is double. Grant dishes to Kobe. And the Lakers with another miss. Boston trail. Brown the pass to Holiday. Grant against Porzingis. Now here's Brown. Tight defense on him. Porzingis with a screen on Bryant. Four on the shot clock. And it's White missing. 
He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Now here is Holiday. Porzingis sets the pick for Holiday. That doesn't go in. Had a chance though to take the lead. White against Bryant. And there's the pass to Grant. Kicks it out to Fisher. They double team Kobe. They could use a bucket. And Derek Fisher with the three. Fisher's got the lead up to five now for the Lakers. Porzingis with a screen on Ori. The nine foot shot. The rebound by Grant. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Kobe with the bucket. Now it's a seven point Los Angeles lead. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Round against Fox. That is prototype rebounding right there. He gets the position down low, boxes out, and then corrals. The drive by Fisher. Outside, Ori kicks it to Kobe. They double team Kobe. Ori passes to Fox. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And a chance here to check out some stats on Jalen Brown. Great showing for him last season. Putting up about 26 points per. Seven. Five to shoot. Fisher way outside. Up again. And O'Neal is right there. Shaq's got 10 points in the game. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. On the wing, Holiday. He's covered by Fisher. And here's Brown outside. Trains the three-pointer. He's got 11. And staying with it. He drained two triples in the first quarter. Now gets this one. Pass to Fox. Pass to Grant. Pass to O'Neal. Let's it go from the wing. Rebound by Drew Holland. The defender took away the airspace, crowded him. That changed the shot. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Holiday, the pass to Horford. The pass to Brown. The tray. Rebound the Lakers. Shaq's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? Man, just adding insult to injury he just waltzes inside and extends this lead a uncontested shot at the rim you have to compete at all times and so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a 10 point lead some breathing room heading into the break they're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace we've got more in store for you right after this And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the point. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. Holiday following the three-point attempt by Kobe Bryant. The three from Tatum. The rebound by the Lakers. O'Neal's got rebound number eight now on the night. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Shaq's got the lead up to 12 now for the Lakers. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. 
White against Bryant, and Fisher kicks to Bryant. They double team Kobe. Fox passes to Fisher. O'Neal outside. The Lakers moving the ball around. Over Perzingis. And it's rebounded by Drew Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. And Fisher kicks to Bryant. To the paint, trying to find Shaq. He's got it now. And Shaq with the slam. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. And so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for Boston. A 12-point game. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for him. And here's Tatum for three. It's rebounded by Bryant. Kobe's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shot just don't go down. Now here's Tatum. Following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Tatum passes to White. Pass to Persingas. And he comes up with the deuce. Persingas has got four this quarter. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Passes to Fisher. Grant with the ball. To the middle. Eyes again. And O'Neal lays it in. Shaq's got 20. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Holiday against Fisher. And here's Brown outside. A rebound by the Lakers. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, back in grade school, when Jason Tatum told folks his NBA goals, they'd often suggest a backup plan. And he said, I always would tell them, I don't have one. I'm going to make this work regardless. Nothing else matters. Kevin? Oh, I like that. It's worked out, David. Thanks so much. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer, for a time, the richest in NBA history. Yeah, you got to pay to play, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. Now Fox, after Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. No good from Grant. Celtics trail by 12. Holiday finds Tatum. Outside, White. Pass to Persingas. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Outside Tatum lets it go with a three. Sinks the triple. Tatum. Holiday against Fisher. Shaq down low to tie it up. And Fisher gets it to go on the assist by Shaq. Shaq's got three assists tonight. The Celtics have gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the fourth quarter. Really getting it done. Holiday against Fisher. Holiday gets the bucket. I mean, few guards absorb contact as well as Holiday. In fact, he often delivers as much punishment as he takes. White against Kobe. And again, it's the Lakers. Just call him the closer. He won't let this team lose. 
So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Nailed from three-point land. He lives for moments like this because he wants to be the guy to hit the clutch shot. Fisher against Holiday. Pass to Shaq. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. So it's the Celtics now. Three-point lead. Now Tatum. Shoots over Grant. Tatum's shot is off. Los Angeles has gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. Fisher, the pass to Fox. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. O'Neal is double. A three from Bryant. Good, and the assist goes to O'Neal. Shaq's got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Brown. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Porzingis with a screen on Fox. Brown with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Here's Fox. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Celtics shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. And stolen by Fisher. Down low. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. Huge turnover. At really the worst possible time. You have to value every possession, especially at this stage of the game. 125 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Brown against Fox. Outside Tatum. And such a nice move to make the basket work. Tatum's got 42 in the game. And let's give some credit to Tatum. Doesn't crack when the pressure's on. He just seems to embrace the moment. Bobbed up there for O'Neal. Hammers the alley oop through. This really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario really for him. Point blank range and also a size advantage. Porzingis with a screen on Fox. Down kicks to Porzingis. And stolen by Fisher. Now here's Kobe, the fast break opportunity. It's in! Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch the... 43 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Brown. It falls! A huge shot to tie it up. And with Brown, it doesn't matter what point... Grant with a screen on Howard. Outside, Fox. Back to Fisher. Fox finds Fisher. Over Holiday. Almost, but it rolls out. So it's the Celtics now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Fox. There's Brown with the three. And with that unique combination of size and skill, Porzingis is a dependable late-game scoring option. Bryant from way outside. Oh, that shot at a chance, but no good. And so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having...